ಪತಂಜಲಿಂಜಲಿಂಪ್ರಾಂಜಲಿಂಕಚಕ್ರಸಿಧಾರಣ ಸಹಸ್ರಶಿರಸಂ ಶ್ವೇತ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆನ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ತ್ರೀ ಡಾಟ್ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಏತೇನ ಭೂತೇಂದ್ರಿಯು ಧರ್ಮಲಕ್ಷಣಾವಸ್ಥಾ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾತ Uh, like we said last time this is a long bhashya by vyasa and we have already begun on it in the previous session and had looked at the first part of it and the last line that we had seen was tatra dharminah dharmaihi parinamo dharmanam tridvanam lakshanaihi parinamo lakshananam api avasthavihi parinam iti So, Vyasa had sort of concluded and summarized that part by saying, as with respect to the dharmi, dharmi is the underlying vastu, the underlying substance. With respect to the dharmi, the parinama, the change, transformation happens through the dharmas, which are the attributes. Now, the dharmas themselves undergo parinama, via the lakshanas the lakshana refers to the three paths the triadva the three paths of past present future atita anagata so the what has already happened or if we go in sequence as per the shastra first is the it is in the anagata state yet to come then vartamana state arrived and active and atita state arrived and gone away so that is with respect to the dharma or the attributes and then lakshana naam with respect to these lakshana avastha bhi parinam they undergo change through avastha which also we had seen a little bit in the last session now having touched upon where we were to sort of set the context let us continue with the bhashya ವ್ಯಾಸ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಈ ಸೆಸ್ ಏಂ ಧರ್ಮಲಕ್ಷಣಾವಸ್ಥಾ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ಶೂನ್ಯ ನ ಕ್ಷಣಮಿ ಗುಣವೃತ್ತ ಅವತಿಷ್ಠತೆ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ನಾಟ್ ಇವನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ನ ಕ್ಷಣಮಿ ಗುಣವೃತ್ತ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಬೈ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ರೆಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ the sattva raja tama guna so dharma lakshana avastha parinamaihi shunyam means there is not even a moment that is devoid of shunya means devoid of without dharma lakshana avastha parinama is undergoing change through the dharma lakshana and avastha there is not even a single moment in this creation made up of guna that is devoid of these parinamas chalam cha guna vrittam ಗುಣ ಸ್ವಾಭಾವ್ಯ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿ ಕಾರಣ ಮುಕ್ತ ಗುಣಾನಿ ಸೊ ದ ಗುಣವೃತ್ತ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಚಲಂ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಎವರ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗುಣ ಸ್ವಾಭಾವ್ಯ ದ ವೆರಿ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಗುಣ ಸ್ವಾಭಾವ್ಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಗುಣ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ದ ವೆರಿ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಕೃ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿ ಕಾರಣ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮೇ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ whose guna naam so the gunas are undergoing constant change and movement and transformation because of the very nature of the gunas says vyasa guna swabhavyam tu pravritti karanam uttam guna naam iti etena bhutendriyeshu dharma dharmi bhedat trividah parinamo veditavya so now he is referring back to the sutra under question where he says etena through all this discussion 
and by this he includes also the previous few sutras where we looked at the nirodha parinama and the samadhi parinama and the ekagrata parinama of the chitta and the discussion so far in this sutra by all this or by through understanding of all this bhutendriyeshu with respect to the bhutas and the indriyas which means pretty much everything because bhutas are the physical elements that make up all the matter prithvi ap tej vayu akash and their combinations is what everything is made up of and the indriyas are the sadhana bhuta dravya the things that the, uh, through sensing and acting we become the vehicle of the chitta and thereby it is sort of associated with the purusha as we have seen so the bhutas and the indriyas with respect to both of these dharma dharmi bhedat from a uh, pro- proper differentiation pro- proper understanding and distinction of which is the dharma which is the dharmi trividha parinama veditavya so having recognized the dharma and the dharmi the attribute and the one that is attributed the three types of parinamas are to be understood dharma lakshana and avastha parinama now here in another text there is a slight elaboration which is worth looking at so in tatva vaisharadi it is said dharma dharmino bheda vedam alakshya tatra bhutanam prithivyadinam dharminam gavadir ghatadirva dharma parinamaha so through examples it is explaining it says having looked at the dharma dharmi distinction dharma dharmi dharmina bheda malakshya tatra bhutanam prithivyadinam dharminam the dharmi are the bhutas the prithiv prithvi ap tej vayu akasha the prithivyadi bhutas they are the dharmi they gavadir ghatadirva dharma parinamaha they undergo a dharma parinama attributive change or changes in the dharma in the by manifesting as gavadir ghatadirva that is to say cow etc pot etc so these are some there are some standard examples ghata pata go etc which is always taken in the shastra so the gavadir ghata dirva dharma parinama so with respect to the bhutas or the dharmi the dharma parinama refers to them turning into gauhu which is like a cow or ghata like a pot so that is a dharma parinama now dharmanam cha now that this dharma parinama has happened and what is the dharma here the uh, the form of the cow or the form of a pot like ghatakaraha ghatakaraha so those are that is the dharma now dharmanam cha atit anagata vartamana rupata lakshana parinama so with respect to this dharma what are the parinamas it is the lakshana parinama of what nature the atita anagata vartamana something that is yet to happen it has been now manifested and the active and that has already manifested active and gone away so those are the three advas the three paths and those are the lakshana parinamas then vartamana lakshana apannasya gavadehe so now further with an example of the cow gauhu when it is in the vartamana lakshanam when it is it is in the state of being present active manifested now with respect to them balya kaumara yauvana yauvana vardhakam avastha parinamaha so when the dharma the gavakara dharma and the form of a cow of the bhutas which are the dharmis when it has manifested the dharma of the being a cow there is a avastha parinama what is avastha parinama kaumara yauvana vardakam avastha parinama so balya kaumara yauvana vardakam childhood youth uh, adulthood and old age so these become the avastha parinama for the cow taken as an example similarly ghatadi nama pi with the pot taken as an example navapuratana avastha parinama 
there is a newness and oldness of the pot when it is just formed it looks brand new then it starts looking old so that is avastha parinamaha so again this was example with respect to the bhutas now with respect to the indriya this is evam evam indriyanam api dharminam considering indriya as dharmi tat tad nila adyalochanam dharma parinamaha niladi alochanam so for example when an indriya in this case let's say the eye the chakshur indriya it is looking at something that is nila nila is a blue or black in different context so it is looking at something blue that is a dharma parinamaha because the indriya is in a state where it is recognized the niladi now niladi alochanam dharma parinamaha and dharmasya vartamanata adi lakshana parinamaha now similarly as we have seen before with respect to dharma which is initially in an anagata state then a vartamana state then a atita state those are the lakshana parinamas and lakshanasya ratnadi alochanasya sphutatva asphutatvaadi avastha parinamaha so now with respect to this lakshana of having looked at something and that being the vartamana the state of the present the avastha parinama is with respect to whether it is <coughs> sphuta sputa means distinctly seen plain clear so sputatva asputatva it may be not very clean vague diffused etc so sputatva asputatva adi avastha parinamaha so here in this elaboration in the tattva vesharadi with respect to some examples of the bhutas and the some example of the indriyas the dharma lakshana avastha parinama has been explained soyam evam vidho bhute indriya parinamo dharmino dharma lakshana avasthana bhedam aashritya veditavya so the same line of vyasa is again being elaborated so ayam evam vidho in this manner the bhutendriya parinamaha of the dharmi is to be understood by understanding the dharmi and the dharma lakshana and avastha once that bheda the differentiation is understood bhedam aashritya that uh, having understood that differentiation between dharma dharmi lakshana and avastha the parinama has to be understood vedam aashritya veditavya so this is how the avyasa and tattva vishayade here together so to give a uh, concise summary of what is being said through examples so the three parinamas dharma lakshana avastha parinamas after having uh, described he delineates on the three parinamas for our comprehension dharma parinam is in dharmi in the substrate that basic substance that is the support and substrate so that is called dharmi and when the parinama is in dharmi itself that is called dharma parinama and when dharma parinama has taken place the parinama still continue and there are attributory changes taking place because of the chronological time passing incessantly so that is lakshana parinama and then because of these parinamas continuing over a period of time the very state of the thing changes that is avastha parinama so an example often cited is about the yogurt curds the curds will be by setting the milk so milk becomes characterized and in the milk the moment it is fermented the milkness goes away that very moment the milkness goes away and the curdness sets in however it takes some time for the curd to set in we know it very well four five hours have to elapse and then you get the curds but the milkness goes the moment it is fermented and that is dharma parinama at the first instance when the milk is set for curds that is dharma parinama in the dharmi the madharmi being milk now when the curds are setting the curds will gradually be setting moment to moment 
until we come to a point where the curves are fully set. So there's a moment to moment change taking place in the vessel, which is containing that fermented milk. So we have the stages such as not well set, yes setting, yes better set, and then yes well set. So these changes are taking place moment to moment because of the chronological time which is running. So there is becoming of the curves. The curves are becoming. How is the becoming? The potential state comes to actual state moment to moment. Gradually the curvedness fades in. It is not that instantly the curves are set. A gradual process is there. So the changes which are taking place in the vessel moment to moment is uh, the dharma parinama continuing. Now when the curves are set that it can be eaten as curves Yet the paradigma continues moment to moment because from fresh state of the curds, the uh, not so fresh state of the curds will be appearing because of the time. So how does it happen? Anagata state comes in and becomes Vartamana and Vartamana state goes and goes to latency. So this Vartamana, the uh, Anagata Vartamana and Atita Adva would be continuing even in Dharma Parinam and now Lakshan Parinam. And therefore the curves are slowly uh, becoming not so fresh, not fresh, not fresh at all. And then the time comes that you will not consume it as curves. That means the very state of it is so changed that you will not take it as curds and you will make something out of it such as the kadhi is prepared or it is churned, butter is churned out of it because the, the curds when they become, the avastha has changed that it is no longer curds but something else that means the state of it as curds has changed and that is avastha paranama in the lakshanas. So these parinamas to be understood, dharma parinama in dharmi and lakshna parinama, parinama in dharma and avastha parinama in the lakshanas. So this is that example which is more often given. So Patanjali Vyasa begins to tell us, evam dharma lakshana avastha parinama yi shunyam Nakshanapi Gunavruttam Avatishthate. The Parinama will never stop. The Gunavyapara will never stop. The changes in Prakriti, in the matter, will never ever stop. There is a continuous change and change taking place. Even if certain things like solid things like mountains, piece of metal, etc., we think they don't change. But that is not true. Moment to moment changes are there. The Guna Vyapara is going on, and that is taking place uh, constantly without any cessation. And therefore, Chalam Cha Guna Vruttam. And therefore, the Guna Vrutti is said to be Chalam. It is fugitive. The Guna has never ever stopped. You can slow down the Guru Guna Parinama, but you cannot stop it. Like today, these days we are used to keeping something to be stored for a longer time. We keep it in refrigerators. In refrigerators, the things don't become rotten soon. But, however, the Parinama is not stopped. The Parinama is slowed down, significantly slowed down, by keeping something in uh, a freezer. So Parinamas are constant. So, that is the guna svabhavam. Guna svabhavyam tu pravrutti karanam uktam gunanam iti. 
that's the very intrinsic nature of gunas to be chanchala to be fugitive and uh, that is why the whole the creation that we are experiencing in various states everything has various states like formative state and then uh, actualized state and mature state and then slowly things becoming older and older and lo- older so these parinamas are happening in the universe uh, this is because of the intrinsic nature of gunas to be changing changing so in the material world or precisely prakrutik world that the, the changes are constant and there is no exception that the changes are halted absolutely no exception whatsoever that the the guna vritti can be halted or the changes can be halted so there is the materials like you know stones and boulders i think they uh, live like that for uh, decades and decades and decades and centuries which is not true the parinama will be taking place in some pace or the other and that is never ever stopped it is because the time is a is on constant mo- uh, motion and movement the time doesn't stop for anyone as we uh, are familiar with this expression so because of the time the parinamas will be constantly going on and now these parinamas as the sutra has told us etain bhutendriyeshu dharma lakshana avastha parinama vyakhyata vyasa also makes it explicit etain bhutendriyeshu dharma dharmi veda krivida parinamo veditavya so the parinamas are taking place in bhutas gross and subtle metaphysical and physical parinamas are taking place in bhutas parinamas are taking place in indri in indriyas also the gross and subtle indriyas the parinamas are also taking place there and uh, that is what is being ex- described by patanjali uh, therefore he says etena bhutendriya shu etc so dharma parinam should be understood as a parinam in dharmi so this must be born in mind and inscribed on the mind dharma parinama is always in dharmi and parinamas are in dharma dharmi both the substrate also has parinama because that being prakriti there is nothing that there is change less so in every case dharma and dharmi should be identified in the examples that we saw the milk is characterized and the curds is characteristic then the curds become characterized and the butter butter becomes characteristic the butter becomes characterized and clarified butter or ghee becomes a characteristic so the relativity also has to be understood the cause usually in material phenomenon is the dharmi and the effect there of manifestation there of is dharma so dharma dharmi class classification also should be understood but ultimately you will realize that the source matter is the characterized like curds is product of milk butter is product of milk clarified butter is also product of milk the cream is also product of milk so the milk becomes characterized so in our inquiries about material phenomena we have to understand the concept of dharmi well in case or case of pot ghatapatadi examples which you heard that it is uh, quite in vogue in philosophical system that ghatapata are the examples so there the characterized must be understood like in case of gold and golden ornaments the gold which is the substrate is dharmi and then ornament could be bangle necklace or ring 
or any kind of uh, ornament would be a, a characteristic of gold so we saw in the last session that there are two kinds of parinama sometimes the characterized is intact and sometimes the characteristic is not intact like when the milk becomes curd the milkness is gone the milk cannot be had from that substance which has become curd while in case of suvarna the gold the gold can be had even if you make it bangle the gold is there even if you make it ring it is the gold is there necklace the gold is there and gold can be reclaimed from ornaments so there are certain parinamas of that nature that you can get the dharmi which is uh, remaining intact and sometimes the dharmi is not intact like patta cloth the cotton is dharmi characterized and then from cotton the, the with the process of uh, weaving and spinning etc the uh, the cloth the cotton uh, cannot be had there it becomes a fabric so the pata parinam and ghata parinam are the parinamas as explained in the last session so there are these are the two kinds of parinamas which we saw last time so there we have to identify dharmi and dharma to have a metaphysical inquiry into phenomenon so that's how he has, he has explained and even indriyas you just now heard the indriya parinamas nila pita di ardi lakshana parinama so dharma parinama is there with a with an all the variety the dharma parinam takes place with the knowledge of form etc when the form etc is perceived as clear absolutely clear crystal clear then there is that lakshana parinama so the parinamas are there also in senses so finally let me tell you the example of avastha parinama with the help of pata cloth the cloth can be new fresh brand new from the mills now when the cloth is new from the mills we say it is a new cloth but then after a while we say this is not a uh, new cloth it is now very old cloth now this oldness doesn't come overnight the oldness is coming from moment to moment by the vartamana lakshana becoming atita lakshana and the anagata lakshana becoming vartamana lakshana so this flow of anagata vartamana atita this is a constant flow so in case of dharmi a person the dharmi is the person is constant but we say this person was child then it became a teenager then it may became young and then became adult and now old that person is the same constant and the avasthas are changing states are changing the so child childhood to youth uh, teenager to youth to adult to to old age the so avasthas that means the states are changing they don't change on a point in time but it is a constant parinama with which the changes are taking place because as we were told parinama is a constant process it cannot stop if somebody is becoming being young becoming old it is not overnight somebody becoming like that with the dharma the avastha parinama process anagata vartamana atita atita flow this the, this is the flow which gives the different states and the dif- different states appear in case of curds fresh curds to rotten curds cloth old cloth to new cloth a person from being child and teenager etc to adult and old so these are parinamas where lakshana parinama is to be seen and with lakshana parinama going on ultimately avastha comes and that is why in lakshana there are avastha parinamas in dharmi there are dharma parinamas in uh, in lakshana uh, you get in the dharma you get lakshana parinama 
and in lakshana you get avastha paranama so we must be, be become familiar with this three paranamas by rendering into different objects and their conditions and their states their becoming their their being their becoming and then happenings so we must develop this habit of identifying these paranamas so that we will understand these paranamas and these paranamas are in bhuta as well as indriyas which is the form in which prakriti manifests the prakriti only manifests in two ways either bhuta paranama or indriya paranama uh, or bhupendriya paranama and these paranamas are there in all manifestations which are prakrutika okay now as he continues he says paramarthatah tu ekeva parinamah dharmi swarup matro hi dharmo dharmi vikriya eva esha dharma dwara prapanchate iti he says at in the, in the ultimate analysis paramarthatah there is only one parinama because dharmi swarup matro hi dharmo the dharma is after all Uh, an aspect of the swarupa of the dharmi and dharmi vikriya eva esha dharma dwara prapanchate it is the transformation of the dharmi that manifests itself through the uh, sort of the sequence or ordering of the parampara and it manifests itself through the dharma dharma dwara prapanchate so now having said that a doubt may come to the mind that oh in that case is dharmi itself becoming different so is there a dharmi at all because if something is changing becoming different then how could you say it is the same dharmi throughout so then to answer that vyasa continues tatra dharmasya dharmini vartamanasya eva adhvasu atita anagata vartamaneshu भाव भवति न तो द्रव्य सो व्यासा क्लारिफाइज दैट डाउट बाय सेइंग हियर धर्मस्य धर्मिणी वर्तमानस्य विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द धर्मा द एट्रिब्यूट्स दैट रिसाइड इन द धर्मी दैट रिसाइड इन द अंडरलाइंग सब्सटेंस द सब्सट्रेट इन द थ्री अद्वाज ऑफ अतीत अनागत एंड वर्तमान there is what is happening there is a bhav anyathatvam it is the form that is changing natu dravya anyathatvam the matter itself is not changing so underlying the substance itself is not changing the dravya itself is not changing but their form or let's say their arrangement their combination that is what is changing and therefore that doubt is addressed then as an example vyasa says yatha suvarna bhajanasya like we just heard like in the, with respect to, to gold ornaments suvarna bhajanasya bhitva anyatha anyatha kriyamanasya bhava anyathatvam bhavati natu suvarna anyathatvam iti when one form of gold let's say there is a some utensil of gold that is then changed into some other ornament it is the change in form bhava anyathatvam the change in form of or manifestation and not suvarna anyathatvam gold does not become some other substance so it's not a dravya anyathatvam similarly vyasa addresses that question even though vyasa is saying that in the ultimate analysis there is only one parinama which is in the dharmi and which uh, dharma dwara prapanchate which manifests itself through the dharma lakshana avasthas and yet it is not to say that there is no dharmi at all if everything is changing and dharmi is because one might ask a question if dharmi is undergoing change all the time how can you even say that there is a dharmi so that has been answered here by explaining firstly in a, in so in general terms about by saying dharmasya dharmini vartamana vartamanasya etc there is bhava anyathatvam na tu dravya anyathatvam then substantiating that with an example of gold where it says suvarna bhajanasya bhitva anyatha kriyamanasya bhava anyathatvam na suvarna anyathatvam iti so that particular 
doubt also has been answered and the statement of the ultimate analysis it is the dharmi which has a parinama has one way of looking at it has also been established now continues vyasa he says apara ah so he says he says okay somebody might say in the sense that he is bringing about a possible objection apara ah dharma anabhyadiko dharmi पूर्व तत्व अनतिक्रमात पूर्वापर अवस्था भेदम अनुपतितः कौटस्थ्येन विपरिवर्तते यदि अन्वयिष्यादिति सो वाइल व्यास हैज आंसर्ड अ सर्टेन डाउट दैट माइट कम टू माइंड देयर इज अनदर क्वेश्चन और ऑब्जेक्शन दैट माइट कम अप इट सेज धर्म अनभ्यदिको धर्मी See, the dharma as it has been said is not different completely different from the dharma because there is purva tattva anatik krama the the tattva itself is not changing it is never crossing over to become a different tattva now purva para avastha bhedam anupatita kautasthena viparivartate so now if you consider this system or this explanation the object objector says if you and consider the dharmi then we might say that kautasthena viparivartate which means firstly it is kutastha then completely unchanging there is absolutely no change possible but and yet it is changing so kautasthena viparivartate which is a contradiction in terms which means it makes it is nonsense it doesn't make sense at all so this is the objection that is raised he said the object the one who is objecting is saying on one hand you are saying that the dharmi exists throughout on the other hand you are saying that there is change happening then with respect to the dharmi are we to be understand that uh, are we to understand that there is absolutely no change and at the same time it is also changing and then if so it makes no sense now to this vyasa is going to answer he says i am a dosha or this is not a dosha this is not a defect in our explanation kasmat why how come vyasa himself will answer that he says ekantata anabhyupagamat so because in our system we do not recognize we do not accept ekantata now we have to understand what this means so by ekantata this refers to swarupatah and dharmatah nityata so ekantata means the swarupa is nitya constant forever there and unchanging and the dharma the attribute also is forever nitya and un- and unchanging and both of these are true it is known as ekantata he says in our system here we do not recognize this ekantata ekantata anabhyupagamat because if you see in this system it is only for the purusha that there is this nityata of swarupa and there is no question of dharma in this system for the chit vastu now vyasa will explain tat etat trilokyam vyaktehe apaiti so he is further explaining this trilokyam trilokyam means this entire creation vyaktehe apaiti it loses is abhivyakti so what is vyaktehe apaiti it loses is dharma mai abhivyakti so he is referring to the time or the condition where the prakriti dissolves completely so there is this notion of pralaya the cyclical creation and there is a prakruta pralaya where the prakriti itself dissolves all creation goes away so it has been it is said that uh, bhutas dissolve into the tanmatras that that dissolves into the ahankara that dissolves into the mahat that dissolves into the pradana prakriti and so on so in that state vyaktehe apaiti it loses its dharma mai abhivyakti na kasmat nityatva pratishedat it is clearly saying the very fact that this is happening means the dharma maya nityatvam is not there so the nityatva is being pratishedat so the attributary the, the fact that attributes are forever there and unchanging is not something that we accept however it says apetam api asti even though it has law the creation has gone away 
but it is still there so that is the key point so it is not to say that prakriti has vanished prakriti is there but its earlier dharma where it had completely manifested in into bhutas indriyas and the creation only that the, the dharma has gone away but its swarupa still exists so it is apayatam api asti vinash pratisheda so he is bringing in two points firstly the manifestation went away why nityatva pratisheda we do not accept that the manifestation is nitya it is there forever and therefore it loses its manifestation but having lost it it is it still exists the creation still exists why vinash pratisheda because just like we don't accept nityata we also don't accept complete vinash completely going away we don't accept and therefore samsargaccha asya saukshmyam now samsarga means here samsrishti or leenata the fact that it is we say leeno bhavat so in this case we have been using the term it dissolves into so because of this quote and quote dissolving happening or going back into so the opposite of the evolution it is going back into the previous previous form so samsarga accha asya saukshmyam means it is there but it is there in a subtle form it is not in the manifested active form so samsarga accha saukshmyam and then saukshmya accha anupalabdhirithi because it has become sukshma because it has become sukshma therefore there is anupalabdhi it is not readily visible available it has become subtle it has sort of dissolved so that is what vyasa is sort of addressing that objection that objection was kautasthyena viparivartate it is the, on one hand it is the dharmi does not change at all on the other which is kautasthyam on the other hand it is changing all the time so kautasthyena viparivartate in your system and this is nonsense so vyasa answers you the interpretation that is this is nonsense is because a misunderstanding of there being ekantatha but this system we don't accept that we don't say that something is swarupatah nitya and dharmatah nitya we don't say that and with the example of the creation itself he explains how the dharmi even though it underwent change it still exists why because firstly it undergoes change because nityatva pratishedat and then it is still exists because vinash pratishedat so the dharmi while undergoing change is still always there and the objection has been addressed now again in tatva vicharadi this it says tatha cha natyan natyanta nityo yena chiti shaktivat kutastha nityasyat kintu kathanchit nitya tatha cha parinami iti siddham it says it is not atyanta nitya the trilokyam is not the creation is not atyanta nitya like the chiti shakti the chiti shakti is complete swarupatah and there is it is even not qualified with a dharma so it is unchanging completely constant forever existing but here it is a the type of nityata where the prakriti as the dharmi is there but the dharma is ever changing so kintu kathanchit nitya tatha cha parinami iti and once this proper understanding happens then that the objection which was raised will then automatically go away so that is what has been nicely explained by vyasa here sometimes it might appear a little abstruse but you should also notice the refinement of thought the care taken to anticipate all objections and sort of address all of those which also strengthens not just the understanding but a sort of faith in the system that the a proper uh, thought has been given to it so now having so far the dharma parinama has been looked at so having finished looking at the parinama of the dharmi maya the dharma now vyasa embarks upon talking about the change in the dharma via the lakshana so he says lakshana parinamo dharmo dhasu वर्तमानो अतीतो वर्तमानो अतीतो अतीत लक्षण युक्तो 
अनागत वर्तमानाभ्याम लक्ष्मणा लक्षणाभ्याम अवयुक्त नाउ द लक्षण परिणाम सो द धर्म विच इज अंडर गोइंग लक्षण परिणाम बाय द थ्री अद्वास ऑफ वर्तमान अतीत एंड सो ऑन when it is in the atita lakshana yukta which means it earlier it was yet to uh, yet to come then it arrived and active and then it went away having then having been active so atita lakshana yukta anagata vartamana abhyam lakshana abhyam avyukta so the lakshana the mark of being anagata and the vartamana it is not completely gone away so it is not completely disassociated with the two other lakshana so when it is in any one of the lakshana it is not as though it is completely disassociated from the other two lakshana that is what is being said tatha anagato anagata lakshana yukto vartamanat vartamanatita abhyam lakshana abhyam avyukta similarly when it is in anagata it is not completely disassociated dissociated from the vartamana and atita lakshanas tatha vartamano similarly the third combination when it is in vartamana vartamana lakshana yukto atita anu anagata abhyam lakshana abhyam avyukta iti so whenever it is in one of the lakshanas it is not yet not dissociated from the other two that is what is being said with now an example to explain that yatha purusha एक स्त्रिया रक्त न शेषासु विरक्त सो द एक्सापल इज अ वेरी वर्लडली एक्सापल वेर इट इज अर पुरुष रेफर्स टू जस्ट अ मैन ह्यूमन बीइंग व्हेन ही इज ड्रॉन टुवर्ड्स वन स्त्री वन लेडी इट इज नॉट एज दो ही इज विरक्त कंप्लीटली ऑपोज टू और कंप्लीटली डिसोसिएटेड फ्रॉम कंप्लीटली डिटैच फ्रॉम द अदर स्त्री अदर लेडी so similarly when one of the lakshanas is there it is not as though the dharma the attribute is completely disassociated from the other two so here there is some understanding of lakshana that is being made essence the thing to keep in mind is while it changes from one lakshana to the other it is not completely dissociated from the other two and how this is relevant we'll see probably one or two sutras later but something to keep in mind so now the lakshana parinama continues he says atra lakshana parinaame sarvasya sarva lakshana yoga adva sankaraha prapnoti parair dosha dosha cha udyatah iti udyate iti so another objection he brings out if that is the case if when one when it is in one lakshana it is not dissociated from the other two then this will cause a complete confusion that is the objection sankaraha means confusion adva sankaraha there will be a total confusion of the advas because when you you are saying that one one lakshana is active it is not dissociated from the other two and that is going to cause all confusion because then essentially all of them are associated then where is the distinction between anagata vartamana and atita so now vyasa answers that तस्य परिहारिस्पेक्ट्रिब्यूट its nature as a dharma which is known as dharmatvam aprasadyam that will never go away so dharma is a dharma it is always a dharma whatever its lakshana satika dharmatve lakshana bhedo api vachyo na vartamana samaya eva asya dharmatvam so it is not as though only when it is active only when it is in the vartamana state that there is its dharmatvam the dharmatva is always there एवं ही न चित्तम सो थ्रू एन एग्जांपल इज एक्सप्लेनिंग सिमिलरली इज एवं ही न चित्तम राग धर्मकम स्यात् क्रोध काले रागस्य असमुदाचारात् इति सो न थ्रू एन एग्जांपल इज नाउ द चित्त व्हेन इट इज फुल ऑफ एंगर क्रोध काले 
So when the chitta is full of anger, krodha, it is not raga dharma kam. It is not. It does not have desire or attachment, etc. At that point, it is not full of love and affection. When it is full of krodha or anger, why raga sya asamuda chara? Because raga, the love, affection, and so on, at that point, is not active, not manifested. So that is known as. Asamuda chara, not active, not manifested. So that is the example given. Now we will continue this example to understand that. Kimcha, trayanam, lakshananam, yugapat ekasyam vyaktau nasti sambhavaha. Kramena tu swavyanja kanjanasya bhavo bhavet iti. So he says, similarly with the example of the chitta, which is full of anger. at that time it is not simultaneously full of love and affection it says with respect to lakshanas also it is to be understood yugapad all together ekasyam vyaktau nasti sambhavah all the three lakshanas in which is the anagata vartamana and atita all the three at the same time in one uh, one substrate one vyakti it is not possible but however kramena in sequence स्व्यंजकांजन से भाव भवेदी वेन इट्स मैनिफेस्टिंग कॉज अपियर्स दैट इज वेन इट विल गेट मैनिफेस्टेड एंड देर फोर उतंतिशया वृत्तिशयाश्च परस्परण विरुध्य अतिशय सह प्रवर्त सो इट्स इज टू डिफरेंट लक्षण दे वॉन्ट बी टुगेदर in the form that both are completely manifested and active however when one is completely manifested and active the other is in its normal state it still exists but it is in the samanya state it is not fully manifested and active samanyani to atishayaihi sah pravartante tasmad asankarah so therefore there is no mixing there is no confusion so to summarize the object the one who objected said that if you are saying when one lakshana is there or one mark is there it is not dissociated from the other two which means all the three lakshanas are there at the same time there is mixing of lakshanas and there this is sankaraha and this doesn't make sense and then through example of the chitta in anger and so on vyasa has explained that it is not as though all of them are manifested and active because the manifestation has happens through a swav swavyanja kanjana the for whichever lakshana is in question when the prerequisite conditions are there for it to be in that state only then it is there and therefore in the same vyakti in the same underlying substrate all the three lakshanas are not active at the same time and only one is active because अतिशय प्रवर्तंते सो वाइल वी से दट दट लक्षण आज नेवर गो अवे इट इज नेवर डिसोसिएटेड येट दे आर देर इन द सामान्य स्टेट दे आर नॉट इन द एक्टिव स्टेट एंड दे बट दे आर स्टिल देर बट बिकॉज दे आर ओनली वन इज इन द अतिशय स्टेट फुल्ली मैनिफेस्टेड इन एक्टिव एंड अदर्स आर इन द सामान्य स्टेट देर फोर देर इज असंकर देर इज नो मिक्सिंग देर इज नो कन्फ्यूजन यथा रागस यैव क्वचित समुदाचार इति न तदानिम अन्यत्र अभावः सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ राग और डिजायर लव एंड अफेक्शन इज कंसीडर्ड वेयर समटाइम्स इट इज फुल्ली एक्टिव दैट डजंट मीन और समटाइम्स और समवेयर इट इज फुल्ली एक्टिव दैट डजंट मीन इट इज कंप्लीटली मिसिंग एल्सवेयर ही इज एसेंशियली सेइंग दैट द राग इन विद with respect to something or at some time it is in the atishaya state it is fully active and manifested but elsewhere also it is not as though it is completely vanished and it can never occur elsewhere also it is in the samanya state other so it is in the samanya unmanifested sort of a suppressed kind of a state but it still exists and yet there is no confusion there is no mix mixing of things similarly in the case of the lakshana parinam parinama also there is no mis- mixing there is no confusion kintu kevalam 
ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯನ ಸಮನ್ವಾಗತ ಇತಿ ಅಸ್ತಿ ತದಾ ತತ್ರ ತಸ್ಯ ಭಾವ ತಥಾ ಲಕ್ಷಣಸ್ಯ ಇತಿ ಸೊ ಕಿಂತು ಕೇವಲ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯನ ಸಮನ್ವಾಗತ ಇತಿ ದಟ್ ರಾಗ ದಟ್ ಲವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅತಿಶಯ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ತದಾ ತತ್ರ ತಸ್ಯ ಭಾವ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ತಥಾ ಲಕ್ಷಣಸ್ಯ ಇತಿ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಇಸ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಟು ಲಕ್ಷಣ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಎನಿ ಮಿಕ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಇಸ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಸೇಮ್ so vyasa is delineating on this topic and taking us to more more greater depth of it um and therefore he commences to say that between dharma and dharmi where is there is whether there is difference or non difference this is a question raised by an inquisitive mind dharma dharmi abhedam is what is being postulated the substrate is always there in any manifestation such as the gold whether it is one alankar or another alankar one ornament or other another ornament the gold as dharmi is intact is there so it should not be taken to say, mean that dharma and dharmi are absolutely identical but they are identical in the sense substrate doesn't leave the characteristics the gold is not gone in an ornament the milk is not altogether gone in curds the cotton is not altogether gone in fabric so the dharm the, the, the dharmi is in some form or the other is there and therefore there is dharma dharmi abhedam non difference dharmi uh, is the swarupam of the dharma like cotton fabric in a cotton fabric the cotton is something very fundamental or fundamentally existing there and therefore fabric also can be pointed as a cotton manifestation because the cotton is there cottonness is not gone and the cottonness is the swarupam of a cotton fabric the earthness is the essential aspect of anything that is made out of earth a pot or any earthen manifestation so the dharmi is not totally different than dharma it is dharma is a vikar is a mutation of dharmi and that's how the dharmi substrate matter is to be understood to understand the physics and metaphysics of creation and then there are three vidha parinamas so therefore he says tatra dharmasya dharmini vartamanasya eva adhvastu akita anagata vartamaneshu bhavanyanyatva bhava bhava anya anyatatvam bhavati na tu dravya anyatatvam so like a physicist he tells us that it is not dravya antaram it is bhava antaram the manifestation is changing that gold can become bangle or necklace or some anklet uh, anklet or any other form of uh, ornament there is no change in gold the gold remains as gold but the ornaments can change from one form to another form and that is bhav uh, bhav anathatvam only manifestation is changing and not dravya anyathatvam so this physics of material world has to be understood and therefore he gives a example yatha suvarna bhajanasya bhitva anyatha kriyamanasya 
भावान्यथात्वं भवति न तो द्रव सुवर्णान्यथात्वं इति सो ही एक्सप्लेन्स हाउ देर इज सबस्ट्रेट दैट बेसिक सब्सटन्स इज ऑलवेज देअर दाव देर फॉर अ क्वेश्चन कम्स अप पर्टिक्युलरली इन फिलॉसफिकल आर्ग्युमेंटेशन देन दे से दैट मीन्स यू आर सेइंग दैट द धर्मी इज नित्य तत्व धर्मी इज इटर्नल इट डजेंट लिव वेदर लक्षण परिणाम और अवस्था परिणाम द सबस्ट्रेट इज कॉन्स्टंट सो आर यू पॉस्टुलेटिंग दैट दिस इज प्रकृति इज नित्य एंड ऑल मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ प्रकृति आर इटर्नल नित्य सो ऑन वन हैंड यू से इट इज अनित्य एंड यू ऑल्सो विथ रेफरेंस टू धर्मी यू आर पॉस्टुलेटिंग नित्यत्व and therefore they are little critical these are particularly the momentarist philosophers who are critical about patanjali then they say you are on one hand postulating anityatvam and because of the guna chanchalatvam the gunas are always having changes on the other hand you are also postulating something as dharmi which seems to be eternal nitya and the moment there is favor nothing constant everything is constantly changing and everything is momentary nothing is constant and everything is momentary this is the view of momentarist philosophers who were prevalent at the, at the time of patanjali when he penned down the yoga sutras and they were one of the major uh, antagonizers and therefore they are being handled that are you trying to confuse on one hand you say prakriti is all anitya prakriti manifestations are all impermanent and the other, the other hand you are postulating something as dharmi as a substrate and that seems to be nityam that seems to be eternal and constant so the point is prakriti is constant this has been discussed by patanjali in an earlier sutra where drushya was described in uh, to co- in comparison with drashta drashta drushya drushya was described earlier in the second chapter and there since the, the sattva rajya tam gunas are constant be that dharmi be that dharma parinam be that lakshana parinam be that avastha parinam the gunas are not going to get ejected whether it is fresh milk or rotten curds the gunas are not going to be getting ejected so gunas as prakriti the prakriti is also has been postulated as a nitya tattva in so far as sattva rajya tam gunas are concerned but its parinamas are not nitya parinamas they there is adityatvam so there is no kauta even if prakriti has kauta stham nityatvam it is not of the nature of purusha so the purusha principle which is not accepted not postulated and even rejected by momentarist buddhists they don't accept anything in atma as kauta stham nitya tattvam which is postulation of entire adhyatma they don't accept it so here they bring they are bringing a point of something for confusion in the minds of the readers that sattva rajya tam gunas are constant in prakriti so on one hand you either say that prakriti is constant and on the other hand you say only purusha is a constant principle steady principle and therefore he tells us that kautasthya of purusha is totally different than that of prakriti in the form of sattva rajatama gunas so be that mrtika earth it is sattva rajatama be that clay mrtpinda still it is sattva rajatama be that baked or that is given a pot shape sattva rajatama don't get ejected when it is they are they, the pot is baked sattva rajata no uh, guna don't get ejected when the pot is new pot is old pot 
breaks and the chips are had satrajya tamam do not get ejected so prakriti is also nitya tatvam in sankhya philosophy and so far as satrajya tamam rahan are concerned but every manifestation of prakriti is not nitya it is subject to dharma parinam lakshana parinam avastha parinam so the changes are going to be there and therefore the kautasthatva or kutasthata of purusha is totally different purusha doesn't have such condition as the prakriti has the matter has and therefore that's how the the moment there is who are not accepting purusha at all they had they this objection that the prakriti in so far as dharmi is concerned it is constant and not the purusha you don't have to have the have purusha and therefore they have postulated later which comes later in the fourth chapter they say there is no substrate entity of atma in our experiences it is chitta frames of chitta running constantly the one chitta becomes the seer the other chitta becomes the seen and therefore the atma as such need not be postulated so the kautasthatva of the purusha is not needed this is their argument and that's why they are trying to attack patanjala's postulation and therefore vyasa has answered those how the kautasthatvam is different of a purusha prakriti is no doubt eternal but in what dimension of it perspective of it guna perspective but its vikaras are not constant the pot will come pot will go cloth will come cloth will go a cow will come cow will go so they are all destructible and not indestructible the animate inanimate world that we have around us is not indestructible but only the atma is indestructible and the dharmi seems to be indestructible but the dharmi is indestructible in another sense of the term not in the sense of the term that purusha is nitya and they were trying to attack this postulation of purusha tattva of patanjalas and sankhya and therefore patanjala tattva vyasa took the lead role in refuting their positions and that's why he has given the commentary that you just now heard from sinet there there is ekantata and anekantata ekantavad and anekantavad which is a part of philosophical systems some philosophies have ekantavad and some philosophies have anekantavad so when we say prakriti is nitya it is anekantavad not ekantavada when atma is nitya it is ekantavada to postulate atma nityatvam and guna nityatvam is anekantavada so that's how the two dimensions of eternality eternity have to be understood prakriti is eternal purusha is eternal but they are the same no they are diametrically uh, opposite of each other distinct to each other and that's how the momentarist have been answered so one might think that it is undue expansion here that is not needed for a student of yoga but the philosophical system has to also take in position uh, consideration the views of opponents and then do the khandana mandana postulate our theories and repudiate the theories of opponents and that is why this seeming to be not necessary delineation has come but in a philosophical system this is very very important to substantiate the positions you have to take into consideration the positions of the opponents and answer them so this is because of the aspect of polemics in philosophical system that we have in india this 
delineation has come and the nitya tvam has been put in perspective how this is dharmi is not nitya as purusha is nitya dharmi is nitya but not in the way purusha is nitya atma nitya tvam has to be there and then he gives the examples of something uh becoming actual and something latent and he gives the examples uh that for a man if a woman is bewitching it doesn't mean that he has lost bewitchment for other women so something will be actualized and something will be coming later so this is how the human mind works and that's what the the senses work because senses are entering from mind and therefore that parinama which is there when somebody is angry the anger is actual it doesn't mean that lovingness is gone lovingness will appear when there is a ganja kanjana karanam appearing the manifesting cause appearing anger will go and the lovingness will come the lovingness come and anger will go so this is how the parinamas are to be understood the person is constant a person is now angry and the same person at another point in time is not angry but loving at another point in time the loving has gone and anger coming up so something is constant that person is angry and that person is loving at different points in time so that is how they also have explained these parinamas and also refuted the stand of vainashikas or the momentaries chanikavadins and that is why this delineation has come and this is part of the philosophical system that they have to do they just can't postulate their stand point of view they have to consider opponents view and also do any refutation of their views and that is why patanjali has patra vyasa has expanded this commentary into the realm that we just now have come okay okay we'll stop here for today there is more of the bhasha on this sutra that remains which we'll take up in the next session so let us recite the sutra from guru ji and stop for today vaigyanikam pravaktritva आसनेशु कलाभ्यासु तत्म वंदेह सुंदर गुरु योग वृक्षो हि लोकेस्ेरण वर्धि योगाचार्य गुरो तोभ्यम सुंदराय नमो नम थैंक यू